The challenge of climbing to the top of a mountain peak is a test of both physical and mental strength. For mountain bikers, the journey to the summit can be especially grueling as they navigate treacherous trails and steep inclines. But for those who persevere, the reward of reaching the peak is an unforgettable experience. Hey guys, I'm Paramesh AP. Welcome back. In this video, I'll be sharing with you my experience using the Realme 9 Pro Plus with DJI OM SE mobile gimbal for shooting video. I was planning to shoot a cinematic video using a mid-range smartphone for a while and last week I shot this cycling video using the Realme 9 Pro Plus. I collaborated with my friend Hari Shankar, the cyclist in this project, and we both were excited to film this. We searched for an off-road to a hilltop and we planned the shoot. The video was shot completely using the primary camera of Realme 9 Pro Plus. It has a triple camera setup where the primary camera has a Sony IMX766 sensor which is 50MP f1.8 and is 24mm wide. It has got OIS which is good for static and slow moving shots. When we reached the hilltop it was extremely windy and the OIS was not enough. But thankfully the stabilization of gimbal was able to take it. The other two lenses are an 8MP ultra wide angle which is not really ultra wide and a 2MP macro lens which I didn't use for shooting the b-roll. The video was completely shot at 4K 30fps. I like the 4K image from this phone. It's pretty decent. I use both the DJI MIMO app and the native camera app for filming. There's no option for 60fps in 4K and the 1080p crops in in the native camera app. However, we can shoot 1080p without any crop in the DJI MIMO app. At some point, the MIMO app got stuck when saving a video so I just quit the app but the video was saved in the storage. I didn't use the pro video mode in both apps. Everything was shot in auto because I wanted to know how capable the phone was in controlling exposure and focus. I really like the saturated colors coming from this camera even though I did some slight adjustments in post. One main thing that really annoyed me was the overexposed highlights which sometimes was completely blown out. They could have done better image processing or have improved the dynamic range. The over sharpening was there in most of the shots which was expected and was mostly in high contrast shots. It was not visible in the image which was shot at the hilltop and looked really smooth and clean. The battery drained faster while shooting 4K but the 60W fast charger was really handy. The phone's display is great and I didn't have any issue while shooting in bright sunlight. Talking about the gimbal, the DJI OM SE Mobile, I really love this thing. It has this magnetic clamp which can be attached to the phone and fits with the gimbal in a second. The gimbal was able to handle the windy hilltop and the running shots. Few of the running shots were jittery but that's not a deal breaker for me. I tried the follow, tilt lock and FPV modes in the shoot. I used the Xeon Crane 2S gimbal for my Blackmagic Pocket 4K and the modes are pretty similar. The DJI MIMO app was nice and connects to the phone via Bluetooth in a snap. The Active Track 3.0 was stunning and helped me in some of my shots. But what impressed me the most was that magnetic clamp. It was outstanding. Even though the clamp always pressed the volume down button when attached to my phone initially. So while attaching it to my phone, I had to slightly adjust its position. I think it will be an issue for some phones as the clamp should be right at the center of the phone to get the gimbal properly balanced. But you can always get a magnetic ring holder from DJI which can be stick to the back side of your phone. Overall, I like the camera performance. For a mid-range smartphone, it was quite good but with more improvements. And the DJI OMSE gimbal, it was amazing. Thank you guys for your support and thanks for watching.